Okay, I know. What the fuck? Oh, come on, man. Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Osk. Uh, today, I'm going to be playing some Supernatural. Uh, pretty much, uh, you're playing as Detective White. Confronts a chilling mystery as he investigates a housemate's disappearance. Under of sinister secrets as you navigate through the haunted house where every shadow hides a lurking terror. See how, see how creepy this actually is. Man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. The way you crafted was pure genius. Your dedication is legendary. Yeah, I hear somebody snoring. Like, what the fuck? I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan, like I mentioned in the evening. The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. Brought her in because she seemed very lonely. Oh, that shit look real as fuck. Family living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before? Yeah, this shit looks so real though. Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kaylee. She went to okay. stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe... The maybe fuck is that? Can you look into it, Detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you. She can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. I love dogs. And I'll start an investigation. Does the dog sleeping? Who the fuck is moaning? With Kaylee. And about the money? Don't worry. Yeah, seriously, yeah, there's a lot. I like it locked up down there. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please. Give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. You got a fucking monster somewhere because I, I heard that shit roaring. Okay. Alright, so it's like the middle of a fucking tornado and shit. So, okay, hands down, we're ready. We're in Florida. You know, there's a hurricane already. Fucking dog is out cold. This guy didn't even fucking do the dishes. Oh man, yo, I'm sorry. This camera sway though. Camera motion. Let me take that out. Let me take out the motion blur. Yeah, that's that's a bit better, I guess. The fuck is going on? Yeah, it's all good to put the coffee and shit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this dude's acting like nothing's wrong. Fucking crazy ass roaring. Okay, I guess I can't do nothing with the door. Like, what's up with the bathroom? Why you got all these little dolls everywhere? This guy's ready for the fucking storm. Look at all the fucking toilet paper. Shit. All right, let's see what's further on in the house. What the fuck? <laughs> nice one, nice one, Narks. Like shit. What the hell? Hmm. This is like an African mask or some shit? Okay. Why is my fucking life flickering here? Yeah, I'm like in the middle of a fucking storm. This is crazy. Should be fucking home.
Yeah, what's here? Is that a puzzle? Not now. It's got a final notice. What's up with these little fucking dolls everywhere? Alright. Shakira! Shakira! Shakira, that's <laughs> too? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Alright, let's. What we got here? Regular washing machines, nothing spooky. What's this? What the fuck is that? Yeah, this is nothing crazy, right? Just some weird writing everywhere. I just heard some shit. All right, let's go to the next room. It's a big fucking house. Hello? What the fuck is that? Oh, phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. Um, yeah, I gotta answer the phone. That's the phone. That's the phone. Hello, hello. The phone wasn't ringing. What the fuck was that then? Oh, it's oh fuck. It's up there. That's not, I hear something ringing. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to the computer room. There's nothing to worry here. I'm just going to the computer room. No fucking way. If I have to chase down a password from another two hours again, I'm out. Hey Kelly, if you forget your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figurines around the house. Oh. First it's Chikensky, then Kowski, and followed by Rabitsky. For the login is Shotsky, and lastly, Katsky. The password starts with Fisky. When a Teddy Ski and a Rabitsky second to. What the fuck? The kid. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Around the house, I've labeled boxes with your login and password. First is Chickenski, then Kowski, followed by Rabinski. For login, it's Shakinski, and lastly, Katsky. This is the sound fucking spectacular. Uh, okay, I'm random writing this shit down. So, chicken. Cow, followed by rabbit, and then for the login is shark, and lastly cat. If I get up and I see some shit, bro, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, all right, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Let me let me get up. Let me get up. Okay. All right, here's a box right here. Katsky. Three, maybe? Katsky's number three, I suppose. Okay, I know. What the fuck? Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Oh, like, seriously, you had to do that shit? That's a fucking old lady fucking with me right now. Is it the one in here with the kid? Yeah, okay, okay. Four is Rob Robotsky.
got number four. Oh my god. You better not come after me, Grandma. I'm gonna be seriously fucking pissed. Alright. Oh, man. Okay. In here, there should be one. Ah, here we go. What's this? Sharksky 6. So, Sharksky is 6. Okay, cool. Hey, why am I fucking... I keep pressing escape. I guess I found the fucking... I found the... The, the caretaker. Right, here you go another one. What's this? Chicken ski. Eight. Okay, cool. Chicken ski's number one, eight. And I think oh, why is it so dark in this bitch? Alright, in here in this room I knew there was one. Cool ski is number one. Not this shit again. I keep pressing escape. All right. I'm just I'm just trying to get the passcode for the fucking computer, yo. Rabbit ski two. Oh, fuck. I hear this shit. I just passed a bio. Not to, I'm not looking to do any harm. Just try to get these fucking toys, okay? Be nice. What's up with this base? Hello? I'm just walking down these fucking steps. Don't fucking creep me out. Let me turn the light on. Don't fucking creep me out. I'm just walking down these steps. I'm in the front of the door. Why you gotta do that, bro? All right. Um, could have sworn there was. Oh, there goes another one. Let me turn the light on down here. Great. The lights don't work here. Nice. Seven is Teddy Ski. So. No, Tedeschi is seven. All right, so this should be... My fu I keep pressing escape. Like, what's wrong with me? All right. Oh, there goes another box. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Five is Clownski. Yeah, because I'm... Okay, good. She's not in here. Fisky is zero. Don't be creeping up on me, Grandma. I swear to God. Open the door. Okay, good, good. So we got we got all of them. I, I, I think one, two, three, four, five. Frisky is zero. Women six, seven, eight. Okay, we got eight. We got. I think there's just eight of them. So I'm good. All right, so I'm going over here, lady. Don't fuck, don't fuck with me.
Yes, I made it. Uh, all right. All right, so forgot the password. She said, Hi, Kelly, if you forget the computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figurines around the house and I've labeled the boxes with your login and password. First is chicken ski, then cow ski, followed by rabbit ski. Penumulate for login is shark ski and lastly, cat ski. The password starts with fish ski. Then Teddy Ski. <laughs> God. Frisky, then Teddy Ski, and Robinski. Second to last of Kowski. And finally, a Kowski. Have a blast. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Just for a fucking password? So the password starts with Frisky. So for the password, we're looking at. Zero, then Teddy Ski, zero seven, Robotski, four, and second to last with Kuski. One, Kuski, Kuski is one. And finally, the clown ski. Okay, clown ski. Clown ski is what? Five. That's the pass. All right, you log in and password. First, chicken ski, which would be eight. Chicken and cow. Cow ski. Where the fuck you at, cow ski? No, I didn't find cow ski? Son of a bitch. I'm missing one. Where the fuck is cow? Son of a bitch, I gotta go look for this shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. What the fuck, yo? Oh, man. That's cat. This is stupid, cause it's like, oh, you son of a bitch! You was right here, at Kowski, the whole time. Nine. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Go back, fucking old lady, spying on me while I'm checking on the computer, dude. This is fucking wrong. Okay. Let's go back. Let's get the password again. All right. So, uh, the first one is chicken ski, then cow. So eight, eight, nine, and then rabbit ski. That's two, eight, nine, two. Then it says penul, penulimate. What the fuck is penulimate? You making up words right now? The fuck is a penulimate? Yo, you guys know what penulimate is? Is that something you mix with milk or some shit? The fuck is that? Fuck you. I'm fucking going on the phone because I have no idea. Penule. Penultimate. Yeah. Penultimate. Yeah, okay. Last one in a series of things. Second last. Oh my god, they're just adding that for no fucking reason. It's second to last. I know, I just realized that shit. Alright, so 892 and then Shark Ski, which is uh, 6 and then 3. Oh my fucking bananas. You fu- oh my god. So the password should be 89263. I mean, the user is 89263 and a password should be... This shit better fucking work because I don't want to run around again. 7415. That doesn't even sound like I put in the right keys. Okay, 07415. I'm picking up the phone! Chill the fuck out! Babe, 
is Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? What's wrong with your mouth? You know, power time while she's away. Oh, hey, Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, everything's yeah. perfectly fine. I hear a bunch of moaning in the background. It's been a hectic day. Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. It's a real story. Look, it's just not a good night, and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans, and now you're back. Does she not know there's a hurricane outside? I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. Can I access the cameras? The dog's awake? The fuck is the dog? Oh, come on, yo! Are you fucking kidding me, man? I get up, this chick is gonna be on my back. <laughs> I need <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> giggle all right she's gonna be back i know she's gonna be behind me i already know it okay good she's not all right where the fuck is the dog the fuck are you barking about the fuck are you barking about oh somebody wrote on the wall crawler drawer You can use the internet browser. What? You can use the internet browser on the computer. Oh my god. Stay still. To search for clues. Crawler. Okay. I guess I'm going back to the computer. You don't get stalked and shit. Fuck you, dog. I don't care. Alright, let's check out. Let's check the internet. Crawler. Nice. Okay. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler, a tragic loss sparks community reflection on mental health. Oh God, you're gonna make me read this fucking paragraph. On July 15th, 2020, a small town in Greenfield, Pennsylvania was rocked by a tragedy that left left the residents in shock and mourning. 80-year-old Miss Susan Crawler, beloved by the community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. Why the fuck is she in this house then? The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town, with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of the community. Miss, <laughs> Miss Crawler was known for her kind and generosity in generosity towards others, she volunteered at the local senior center where she spent countless hours knitting blankets, scarves for those in need. A neighbor described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and a warm gre greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. She had she had been she had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with the therapy medication, they could not find peace. She could not find peace within herself. And these days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay to pay tribute to her life. Many spoke of of how much she meant to them and how 
how her impact would be felt for the years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who felt her best. But there is no answer as to why someone would take their own life. It is clear that mental health struggles can affect someone regardless of age, circumstance. It is hoped that through Miss Crawler's tragic missing, passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. Um. Okay. She better not be looking about uh, spying on me though. Okay. Every time I get up, she fucking scares me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What the fuck is that I hear? What the fuck is going on? Are you chewing on some shit? That sounds so fucking gross. What the fuck is that? Oh, she's mopping. Are you there? Come on, yo. Relax. Colton, it's me again. Oh my God. Okay, go ahead. So I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago, three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why have you seen her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. What? You just fucking dumped me? You fucking dumped me because I got a ghost? Oh my god. That chick got problems, bro. I just got fucking dumped. Like, fuck. The fuck did I do? Oh god. Show yourself. I'm tired of this, yo. I'm tired of you scaring me like this. So now my girl broke up with me because of your ass. She was going to come over too. Hello? Anyone here? Fucking lazy dog. Yo, if you're gonna be here mopping, the least you can do is clean this fucking kitchen. This shit is a mess. That close? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do though. Maybe I got a, I need a Ghostbusters or some shit. This light looks on, so what's going on here? 
Oh, that room. Okay, let's let's go investigate. Reveal yourself. Can you help me? Can you help me? Oh, it's not detecting the mic, baby. Can you help me? Oh, no. Hello? Can you help me? Oh! That was a bad idea. That was a fucking bad idea. Where are you? Hello? No, 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 no! No, 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 stop, stop it! Oh God, that old lady could fucking waddle her ass over here. Shit. Oh, what's up, Dal? How you doing, man? Hey, it's his computer. Maybe I should find more more clues on the walls or something. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. Why she had to do that though? No. Was the dog? Where the fuck is the dog, yo? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, Dow man. Just trying to figure out this game right now. Hello? 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 Oh, you can't use it at this moment. Okay, I gotta find the dog. The dog is barking. Where the fuck is the dog? It's probably telling me where there's a clue. All right. Oh shit. Oh, okay. In that contraption where night after night, eerie we slipped. What the fuck? Ah! What the fuck, Grandma? I died? I didn't even know what the fuck happened. Oh shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Homicide. You saw me get killed, yo. Why ain't you doing anything, you little dog? Kids intertwine, I'll be holding a cherished TV series. Just you, me, and Bakja. And I'll Bakja. Maybe I should go see the TV. Come on, Grandma! Shit is, I gotta go that way. I gotta go that way. Um, all right. Okay, she said, okay, okay. I'm going in the, I'm going in the room. Okay, good, good. Look, let me just grab this thing off the wall. Zoom in and hold to, to select the photos. What the fuck? Oh fuck, I can't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Collect the first torn picture. What the fuck? Why is it so dark in here? Who the fuck is moaning, though?
I know the photo thing is over here, so let me go back. Oh, okay. Oh, so it looks like I got to collect all these photos. Turn this light on. That's why I'm beholding Cherish TV series. Just you, me, and I'll box you. Okay, I got it. No, 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 no! No, Grandma! No! Move, you stupid dog! Move! Fucking dog was in my way. Oh, there has to be another photo, I guess. I guess that's what I'm looking for right now. The photos. I need the photos. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry if I'm yelling, bro. Sorry if I'm yelling, Dow. He's catching me off guard some of this shit. Where the fuck are the photos? Let's go to the next room. I got. I think I gotta go downstairs. You got nothing to say, you damn dog. Right, I'm going downstairs. All right, look here, lady. All I'm doing is trying to find the photos, okay? Shakira. Shakira. Shakira, that's tú. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Where are these photos, like... Hello? Can you help me? Said Bakja will be a guide? I guess she's Bakja. Yeah, maybe I can solve your murder, Bakja. Just you, me, and our Bakja. Uh, are you friendly? Okay, that's good. Then you're not going to scare me no more, right? What happened, Bakja? Tell me. They were torturing you? That's messed up, yo. See, I'm a good guy. I don't want to torture you. I need to get the fuck out of here, honestly. Is anyone here? Okay, there is somebody here. Fucking lights blinking over here. What happened, Bakja? What happened? Tell me. Somebody was manipulating you? That's that's wrong. What the fuck? I thought we were friends! I thought we were friends! No! What the hell? Stop! Go away. Oh my god. Yo, she's yo, I got diddy, bro. Like straight up. But what am I supposed to locate? Like, I got one photo. Oh, maybe that's what I maybe let me get on the camera. Maybe if I get on the camera, the dog will go bonkers. Because all you're doing is telling me about this shit. I already found a picture. 
let's 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 check let's check maybe the Use the zoom, select, move around. Oh my god, it sounds like somebody's in this house, in this room with me. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Come on. Focus. Use the zoom, select, and move around the mouse wheel. Left, okay. Okay, good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let me see if the dog starts barking somewhere else. Maybe it get me over to that other spot. Night vision. Fucking grandma. <laughs> she fucking look how we walk though. Why well, you got that hand on your back though? What you doing? You dancing for me? You da dance, Granny, dance. Come on. I ain't gonna give you no money though. Just saying. <laughs> it's hilarious though. She's going up the stairs. Yo, she quick though. She got moves. <laughs> it's just hilarious the way she walks. Loser. I think she's just gonna keep wandering. about that door <laughs> I like that little stutter step though something about that door okay I gotta get off the computer then something about that door Oh, the dog is barking. He's barking. He's barking. Okay, here you go, pup. In a place where each time I should have assisted and shared our garment of the daily grime. If only I could rewind time. I should have assisted you in cleansing our shared garments. Laundry room. Where's the laundry room? Fuck. Oh, it's the room she's in. Oh! I think it's the room she's in. I think it's that room that she was in. This room right here. I can't open the door. Oh, no, no, shared laundry room. There's another room here. In here. In here, there should be something. 
There we go. Okay, good, good. Okay. She's there, she's there. Go around, go around. No, 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 Come on, come on, move, move. No, 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 no. Come on, move, move. She can't catch up to me. I'm too quick, too quick, too slick. I think I'm missing a piece. Uh, am I missing a piece? I think so, because where the fuck does this fit in? Yeah, because it should be like right around here somewhere. Yeah, like right there. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Okay, um. Okay, let's see if the dog's barking anywhere else, and we should be good. So it's manipulation. Ah, uh, dog's barking again. What are you barking? What are you barking, boy? What are you barking? Alright, I'm gonna have to go find out. Let's go. Alright. As long as the the ghost chick doesn't get me, I'm good. I'm good. As long as Granny doesn't want to pay me attention. Why did you, she locked that door? It has to be downstairs. No, dog's upstairs. She has to be in this room right here. There where I dwell too long, crafting art with labor, yet destroying us in the process. Crafting art with labor. Crafting art with labor. Where the fuck is she crafting art with? Oh yes, yes. The computer room. In the computer room right here. Okay. Okay, good, good. And I, I go back here. See if the dog is looking for more shit. And we're good, we're good. I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll right now. Where the fuck is the poodle? Oh my god. Come on, yo. Why you gotta be behind me like that? You don't, you know, if I fart, you ain't gonna like that shit, right? Stalking me like that. What's wrong with you? Ah, here we go, here we go. Next room. Okay, cool, cool, cool. She's gonna be behind me. She's gonna be behind me. She's gonna be behind me. No. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Oh my fuck. What the fuck? I'm a fucking bitch, yo. Oh god. Alright, alright. What's up, Pupnificent? What you got? What you got for me? In that, in that place where where I truly existed, we we could have forged countless culinary. Oh, the kitchen. Okay, cool. Hey, how you doing, Granny? You so nice. <laughs> you can fucking rub my ass, yo. She gonna kill me. All right. 
Should be something here. Should be something here. Okay, there should be something here. Where the fuck? We could have had a cul culinary fucking... Why the fuck I don't see this shit? Oh, it's right there in my fucking face. Oh, collect four torn pieces of the picture. Okay. Now we gotta try to get upstairs without her trying to kill me. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Alright, let's get back on the computer, see what the dog tells me now. Because the dog knows more than anybody in this game. The dog is a freaking genius. Come on, girl. Where you want to take me next, girl? Okay, back in that room. All right, we're gonna go. Bet. Come on, don't get scared. Every time I fucking get up, I fucking get scared because this chick is like doing stupid shit. Okay, cool. In that realm where you nurtured your flawless beauty, tending anointing skin and fragrances in your own moistened hands. The bathroom. Okay. Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Fucking horrible, dude. Oh my God. Okay, let's go to the fucking bathroom, yo. Like, I know she's coming, but it's so fucking creepy. Oh my god, yo. Okay. Uh, I'm coming up, lady. Don't fucking... Don't try to strangle me, please. Please be nice. Please. Please. All right. I keep pressing escape. Okay. What we got left? What we got left? Where's the dog? Come on, puppy. Has to be the living room. Oh, and in the room I'm in? Nice. Don't fucking creep me out, come on. In that place where it all ended, and I wander incessantly seeking you for my love. Where the fuck did it end? The door? Oh! Oh shit! Oh fuck!
How do you open this fucking door? Oh man, what the fuck? It ended in here. That's not, so she was mopping all that blood. So that dude, that cop, maybe did he did he drive you crazy or something? I'm gonna find out now. That should be it. Um, is there anything else missing? Uh. Maybe I could, yeah, because you could do a Google search. I could, I could search for that guy. So, is there anything? Oh, Holton, Holton. His name is Holton. Okay. It says Holton. Hero Sheriff Bravery, 40 years since the, the daring rescue in Pennsylvania. Oh damn, this guy's got a story, he got a novel. <laughs> In the small town of Greensville, Pennsylvania, nested among the among the picturesque, picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, there existed a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative revolves around Sheriff Robert Holton, a man whose courage and selflessness came to define the spirit of heroism. In the hearts of Greenfield residents, it was a chilly autumn night in 1982 when the local family was abruptly awakened by a piercing sound of, of a fire alarm. The source of the disturbance was the neighborhood house, now consumed by an inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path. The family trapped inside faced a dire situation with little hope for escape. In the midst of chaos, Robert Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, received a distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed into the scene, not as an observer, but as a rescuer, determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Holton was met with met with a scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an orange glow against the darkened night sky. The family, immobilized by fear, were visible were visible through the thick smoke, desperately signaling for help from an upper floor window. Undeterred by the intensity of the blaze, Sheriff Holton swiftly coordinated with local fire with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue. With the flames raging around around them, the sheriff and the firefighters worked tirelessly to breach the the burning structure as the first responders battled the infernal sheriff holton equipped with a protective suit charged into the smoke-filled building guided only by the distant cries of the family he navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination finally reaching the upper floor sheriff holton discovered the family huddled together in a room rapidly succumbing to the encroaching flames the urgency of the situation amplified as he ushered them towards the window the only possible exit. Mr. Cat Sheriff Holton maintained an air of calm and reassurance, urging the family to trust him as he orchestrated the descent to safety. One by one, he, he carefully lowered them down to the, with the help of the makeshift rope, ensuring the escape from the clutches of the relentless fire. The heroic rescue concluded with the family safely reunited with, on the ground and Sheriff Holton emerged from the inferno unscathed, but forever changed. The town of Greenfield hailed him as a true hero and the events of that fateful night solidified his place in the hearts of the community. Now, four decades later, the legacy of Sheriff Robert Holden continues to inspire generations. The heroism displayed on that autumn night has become a symbol of courage, unity, and resilience, echoing through the quaint streets of Greenfield as a testament to the honorable spirit of the, the extraordinary sheriff.
Somebody's at the front door. Oh! No, 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 no! Drop out, no! Let me get to the fucking door, Grandma. Detective, you say? What brings you to this house, making all this ruckus? Folks around here can't get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. I'm here on behalf of the new residents, who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff... Sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation... Can you, you're worried about me? But there's a fucking there's tornado a outside. You know? Hmm. I suppose I understand. But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. Right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. Is that Sheriff Holton? Will you? Don't need the whole town up in arms over some ghost story. Hmm. <laughs> he probably strangled her. That's probably what happened. Right, there's a fucking complete fucking storm outside. And this guy's like, hey, you're making noise. What the fucking cow they just flew by a second ago? Jesus. Oh shit, no more computer. Can you help me? Oh shit. Oh, okay. Okay, I look for the fuses. It's probably in this mechanical room or whatever. And it's laundry room? On a side note, who, you, who has a laundry room on the second floor? Alright, I got a fuse. Damn, so a ton of fuses. How many fuses this place has? That was a lot of fucking fuses. There's none. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. Holy shit. Oh, fuck, I need more. All right, so. Maybe see. Oh, no, this is to the left. Uh... I'm still missing fuses. And blue.
Yeah, I'm missing a ton of fucking fuses. And the purple. Okay. Still more. I'm still missing a, ton, a bunch more. Okay, that's it. It's like I'm missing a fucking breaker. Come on, yo! Oh. Okay, okay, what was that? Missing just four more. There has to be more here. I couldn't have been the only one in this room. Let's see four more fuses. No, 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 no. In this in here. I think four fucking fuses. Where are they? Damn, she got a bra and shit, everything all over the floor. Where are the last four fuses? Oh, uh, here goes one. Two. Three. Should be one more. On the bed, maybe? Nope. I see one more fucking fuse. Ah, there he goes. Got it. All right. Get these lights turned on. Hopefully, Vectra doesn't fucking come at me. That one is this way. That one is... That way, that one is that way, and this one is okay. All right, cool. Now go up to the computer room, right? Because and then now I could I could do more research. Okay, so I'm in here. God damn it, I hate when I do that. What was I doing anyway? Uh, let's go to the game room. This fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. 
What the fuck? Uh, who's coming in? Should have just stayed out of this. Now, you're gonna burn. Oh, fuck me. Come on! I'm fucking nailing. I'm gonna get all the play. Come on, bro! I got the bad ending. Oh my! So, I gotta do this whole shit all over again. Uh, as the flames consumed the house, uh, Kawhi's body was consumed too, buried in the ashes along with the truth. In a sense, Sheriff Halton's heinous act ensured that, uh, despite Wise and Waverly's dedication to uncovering the truth, his efforts were thwarted by the very system meant to protect and serve. Now, with his demise, bravery. Okay, this fucking time. I won't let anyone escape. Don't you go hide, darling, because I'll find you anyway. Oh shit. They buried the fucking couple. This is why I unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The corporal was none other than the revered Sheriff Holton, a man of authority and respect. Many jealousy could, had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit a heinous act of, of vengeance. Sheriff Holton manip 
manipulation of local news painted him as a hero disguised his own sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to su supper, hopelessly ending their lives. But it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life, as a as the fabricated report suggests, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. Yet in the face of such darkness, the Detective White emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. Here's together the evidence I'm asking to bring them down to justice. like my place. Really burnt carburetors. Like something's been burning here. Sound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. But why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? A different date, same ultrasound. This time it says the truth will come out soon. I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. laundry. If she overlooked it or did she set it up? There's too much of it for it just to be a weird coincidence. Another child victim? God. Please, no. These drawings are unsettling. They have a child they didn't tell me about? <laughs> Interesting. Case. The 
the same soon. I can relate. I hope everything works out for them. It's so hard to be young these days. No fucking way. If I have to chase down a password for another two hours again, I'm out. It's sheriff. The property is currently it's sheriff. It's sheriff. It's sheriff. Please be advised it's sheriff. that it is imperative to it's settle sheriff. this outstanding payment as soon as it's possible to sheriff. avoid any further complications. Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service It's department. sheriff. Thank you for your cooperation. He wasn't lying about their financials. It's Sheriff. Hello? 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 That's a fucking space bar. <laughs> 